Hello everyone, it's Adam here, your favorite rust check technician here in Niagara. I'm gonna go over the correct access hole placement for a Dodge Ram 1500. Of course, Dodge Rams, uh, the, the model and style don't really differ that much between the XLT, the Hemi, the regular, it's just engine size really. So normally when I get it up in my shop and on the hoist, I take off the uh, rad cowling one of the first things I do so that I, got, I can access uh, the fenders pretty easily by putting a four foot wand through there and all these access holes that are already here. See that? So the engine is pretty straightforward. Access holes there, fenders all covered. Whole engine compartment is wide open saying spray me daddy. But that's not what you're here for. You want to know where to put access holes in the doors. So, I have sprayed more Dodge Rams than I care to admit. Previously, the GMC Sierra, GMC Sierra was my number one truck that I see here. Lately, uh, I've noticed a lot more Dodge Rams. So, I know it works and I know what doesn't work. So, front door. This is the exact same. We're mirroring the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm not gonna go over to the other side and show you the exact same thing, but the holes are in the exact same spot on the other side. Okay, looking at this, I need to get my product in that door, in that door, in this pillar, in that pillar, and in the front pillar, and in the rocker panels. That's what my concern is. I'm not spraying the headliner or the roof because the headliner will sag. So this is my concern. So I'll start right here. This is where I put my half inch access hole. Beautiful spot for it. Hard to forget that. When you finally see it and, and drill a hole in there, make sure that you don't hit the paint right there with your drill bits. And then I always go right where that seam meets right here. Another half inch hole right there. It flows with the body. Visually it looks okay and it works. You could also move this guy right here and that would be acceptable. I like it right there tucked in the corner as close to the body panel as possible. So let's go back door, back passenger side door. So I've seen a few different things. I've seen somebody put the half inch access hole here, which again is fine, don't get me wrong, but watch out for all the rubbers. Because if you, if you start chewing them up or drilling through the other side, obviously that's a problem. This is a workable access hole that is a good placement. And then my favorite, the secret access hole. And how you find where to put that is get your finger along this rubber here and find that spot between the two, between the two clips that hold it in and start just pulling like that and you'll feel, oh, there's a spot. See that gap there? They don't do that for me. They don't do that for rust proofers, but it just so happens that it works. So now your doors are covered with product. It's gonna drip out the drainage holes. Next is your pillars. Let's start at the front pillar. Pillar, post, whatever you wanna call this. It's the structural post of the cab. There's a grommet here, or a rubber, a cap, that I took out. Otherwise, I would normally make an access hole here. Sometimes these aren't accessible but I got that out. So I'm gonna put my tools in there and spray up and down. <clears throat> center post or center pillar, whatever you wanna call it, same thing, has a factory access plug that came with it. Take that out, up and down. If it didn't have that, I would try to start with an, a half inch access hole here and then spray down. Sometimes you'll see them here as well. My thought is usually to put one up there, but sometimes on a brand new vehicle, it looks tacky, especially if it's a white vehicle. It depends on how many existing plugs are already there. Back cab post. Again, I go with that natural, with that natural formation of where to put it. It's like an eyeball, you see that? Perfect spot for it, right there. You go up and down. My product sprays about three, four feet in the air when I'm misting it. So I'm not concerned about, am I going, do I need to do here, 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 here? And then this is a factory plug, so I just take that out. Do not make an access hole beside a factory plug. 
or on top of a factory plug, if you get your finger in there, you can see and feel around what it covers. You don't have to bother taking this out. Uh, so underneath, you might ask me, what about the rocker pedals, Adam? Well, look, see all those stickers? All those stickers, and all those holes, that's the rocker panel. And if that's not good enough, you have all these little divots here that you can spray up a trim wand in and spray it in your rocker panel. So what I'm saying there is once you have it in the air, there's no need for any access holes here. No need. Follow me so far? I'm going to the back. You gotta take the tail lights out. And these, in this case, Use your torque bit. And uh, when you put your torque bit back on, like when you put the screws back on, you wanna put a torque setting on to like five or six, not done to over tighten. And then two bolts there, pull it straight back. You've got these clips here that hold it in. And then you get your eight foot wand and go straight in there. Up, down, left, right, side to side, <laughs> spray the product. And again, that leaves us with the tail, tailgate. As you can see, it's got that factory access hole there. No need to make any more factory access. No, many, no need to make any more access holes because of these. I, I don't need to make any more. Sometimes you'll see a guy put them here. Not necessary. Okay. And then uh, once you've done that and capped them with your half inch caps, you put the truck up in the air and you spray the bottom in all the chassis frame rails, and cover it with your product. Maybe they've paid for something extra. And as they say, Bob is your uncle. I find that this uh, driver pushes these guys, ratchet driver pushes these guys in perfectly. You're welcome. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com and that's how we do.